Welcome to A Country Walk. We're in the beautiful Suffolk village of Orford, an area by the sea steeped in history from the 12th century castle to the secret squirrel military research happening just down the coast. Let's go for a country walk. Like many Suffolk coastal towns, Orford was of great importance during the Middle Ages, both as a port and a fishing village, and it's got some interesting history and also some superstitions. This walk begins and ends in the village car park at the centre of Orford. It's rated as easy, and unless it's been raining recently, you'll be fine in trainers. This walk will take you approximately an hour. If you want turn-by-turn -turn directions, please visit our website, and don't forget that we use the What Three Words addressing system. If you're not sure what the What Three Words addressing system is, please click on the I button on your screen, and you'll see a video that explains how to use the app. The first part of the walk takes you past Orford Castle, built in the 12th century by King Henry II to try and stamp his authority on East Anglia and stop the local barons from uprising. The castle's been involved in many mysterious tales, but have a look at the design. It's unique, it's polygonal, and all you can see of the outer walls are the mounds of earth that you're walking over. One of the stranger Orford stories is of the wild man of the sea, who in the 13th century was caught locally, part man, part fish, and taken and imprisoned to the castle. Eventually, after the poor soul was tortured, he mysteriously escaped and slipped back into the sea. And stories in this area have continued, including for some during the Second World War, there's still speculation that the Germans may have landed or may have invaded, but there's no evidence to support this. In fact, one of the few invading forces that was successful was in 1215, around the time of the Magna Carta, when the local barons invited King Louis of France to invade and take over some of the castles. But it didn't last for long, and Orford stayed within the royal family. When you reach the end of the track, you take a left and just walk down to the road. Turn to your right and walk along the road slightly before you see the bridle path on your left down towards the river. As you get close to the river, you'll see the strange pagoda buildings on the other side, and that's on the nature reserve managed by the National Trust. But do you know what they're for? From 1913 to 1983, the area on the other side of the river was under the control of the Ministry of Defence. It was top secret, you wouldn't have been able to travel there, and you certainly wouldn't know what those strange pagoda buildings were for. In fact, the local population were told all sorts of stories to try and cover up what was really going on. The pagoda buildings were used during the development of the UK's first nuclear weapon in the 1950s. They were designed to test the nuclear trigger. Orford isn't the only place in Suffolk that was involved in the development of nuclear weapons. If you're interested in military history, we also have a walk near Barnum in the centre of the county, where the nuclear bombs were stored. As you walk back towards Orford Quay, you might see a warehouse building on the other side of the river towards Oldborough. That was part of the Cobra Mist early warning system during the Cold War and was dismantled in the 1980s. There are lots of other connections with military history along this coastline, probably the most notable of which is the development of radar at Bordsey Manor just down the coast. Even further round you've also got the Martlesham Heath Laboratories for BT, which is where things like optical fibre were first invented. One of the things to watch out for here is the tide. The current is extremely strong. And as you wander back into the village up towards the car park, there are several coffee shops and great pubs as well if you want to sit out and have a drink. And that's it for our country walk around Orford. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe, click like, and tell a friend.